Welcome to Spiritual Psychic with Sarah Wiseman, where you'll learn how to unlock the secrets of spiritual intuition and your own psychic gifts. Here's Sarah. Hello, everyone. I'm Sarah Wiseman, and today we have our channeled forecast for May 2024. Um, I haven't done a forecast for a bit of time since I got a little bit busy, but I'm back and hoping to do channeled forecasts as I used to monthly and annually. If you would like to um, ask specific questions about the quality of time we're going to be in each month, this is not an astrological forecast. It's also not a uh, tarot forecast. Um, I channel. I actually channeled right before I recorded this and um, got it sort of, I channel in writing. I don't channel through voice at this point. So um, I channeled directly before this. Actually, there's a little chair <laughs> that I do my channeling in. I just sit down there and let it come through. And so I'd really appreciate um, if you have specific questions you want to look into, just put them in the comments below. Of course, please subscribe. So May is um, May is a little active, uh, shall we say. And so I'm just going to give it to you straight. I don't like to sugarcoat or, um, you know, life is up and down. We're here to face all of it, so uh, or to be in all of it. So I'm just going to provide to you what I received. So channeled forecast for May 2024, the tower, death and rebirth, clearing the path. May is an uncomfortable month for those who have been sleeping and a month of clearing for those who are awake. And I would imagine most of you listening are awake. So that's better news in general. This may be similar to the tower card in Tarot, the card where everything falls away, not easily, not by choice, but because this is what is needed. And despite all the nudges of the universe, and there are multitude in every moment, the advice has been ignored. And so it is time for another approach. Everything falls away. The universe is infinitely patient. The universe is infinitely benevolent. Everything that is on every plane or dimension is consciousness. And as oneness, nothing can be destroyed, just changed in form or in awareness or both. So there is some changing in form as is always happening on the planet, but mostly there is changing in awareness. In or on some parts of the planet, the level of suffering is unbearable. This may be from war, violence, corruption, greed, pollution. So these areas now, areas where the consciousness is low or the leadership is asleep or both are suffering. This state of extreme suffering is similar to what each of you have been through in your own lives in times of grief, loss, the crashing of all dreams, the most abject of failures. The heart opens in pain and the heart feels it can't experience any more pain and then it is asked to feel more pain. This is also similar to the death card in Tarot where what has been can no longer exist. A change of magnitude is required. You might consider the idea of bottoming out in addiction language or hitting the lowest point in common terms. Some of you are here now and most of you are witnessing parts of the world at its lowest part now. What comes with hitting the lowest part for a human for a person is either death or rebirth or both. Death of the body or death of the identity and belief. 
rebirth as eternal soul in the next lifetime or rebirth into this lifetime as changed and transformed. This is what the tower brings. This is what death brings. Both of these are gifts from, from a benevolent universe who is nudging, directing, guiding, offering this continued idea. Enough is enough. It is time to lift up. For of course, there is no destruction. There is only waking up and shedding misbeliefs. Everything must fall away in order for you to become free. There is no death, only the initial, excuse me, only the infinite soul in lifetime after lifetime, learning soul lessons that lead to realization, enlightenment, and freedom. Consciousness is the way. Those who are mired in war, violence, corruption, greed, pollution are getting a wake-up call that is not gentle or easy. The gentle and easy methods have long ago been exhausted and now the waking up is instant, the blaring of an alarm siren. The wake up is this, what you are doing does not work. It is time to shed these ways, let go of these beliefs and try again. Yes, you can continue to suffer, but haven't you suffered enough? What you are doing does not work. Lift up. For you, the recommendation is, look with new eyes, take off your armor. Don't give up, try something new. You are not separate from anyone or anything else. If you are privileged enough to be free from war, violence, corruption, greed, pollution in your own life, or if you, been, if you have been working on your own soul growth at a level where you are beginning the stages of liberation, you will also experience the tower and you will also experience death of the old identity. What affects one affects one. So what affects one, us, affects one, the oneness that is everything. For you who are already awake, what all falls down are the more subtle forms, ideas of who you are, why you are here, ideas of what relationships are worthy of you and where you are really meant to focus your attention, ideas of wounds of the past and if you truly need to carry these forward, ideas of fear and if this is truly a dimension you are meant to live in, death of the old self, rebirth into the new. For you, the recommendation is connect with your guides and angels and receive the highest level of understanding that comes from mentors on the higher plane. So this is a lot to take in. Um, you can listen to it again. If you would like the transcript, you can go to my website, sarahwiseman.com, go to blogs, and you'll find it right there under channeled forecasts. Please subscribe. I'm really trying to, um, I'm, I'm teaching actively on this podcast uh, weekly and monthly and probably a lot more, but I want to get the subscriptions going, just getting into this and uh, find it's the best, most direct way I can reach you the fastest, especially as events in the world are happening and um, I can channel and look into what's going on in uh, the quality of time that we're experiencing now. Blessings to everybody. Thank you for listening and I will be with you next time. Again, you can find me at sarahwiseman.com.